Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of The Aftermath. My name is Ian, and as always, I'm joined by Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. I mean, if there's one thing I can say right off the top, mm-hmm. the score of this movie is as, ex- as expected. Right. It's yeah. great. It's top notch. It's tough. John Williams. Great music. I mean, it's always beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's a crying shame that uh, it accompanies such a shite film. Well. <laughs> um. <laughs> Let me start off. Have you ever had one of those moments where um, someone asks you, um, like, what you're good at or mm. what you like about this thing, and you're like, "Oh, it's actually going to be easier if I do the opposite of that and tell mm. you what, um, <laughs> like, what are you good at? Like, oh, it's actually easier to tell you what I'm probably not good at or not mm. strong at because that's right, probably, right. or you know, what do you want to eat? And I'm like, well, I want a lot of things. Let me I actually tell you what fact, I don't want. I don't want. want a piece of shit exactly. on my plate. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start off this episode by telling you the things that I actually like because that list is probably shorter than oh, the yeah. things that I, I don't. I could count not even using my full hand. Um, <laughs> uh, gosh. Where do I even begin? Mm-hmm. Um, we watched uh, Jurassic Park 3, <laughs> a film that came out in 2001, oh if you can believe God. it. Oh, my God. Which is simultaneously um, a lot later than I thought, yeah. but also that was over 20 years ago. So I'm like, right. at this point, you know what? I'm The not passage surprised. of time and whatnot. It's, it's convoluted, as we have said. <laughs> in that or a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, like, <laughs> this came out around the same time that the prequels of Star Wars came out oh. or a little bit after that, you know, in Dude. that same time frame, which is crazy to think about because, you know, it, but anyways. <laughs> this was the poopy era. What I can say about this film that is good or that I liked mm-hmm. is what I should say. Um, is that... Um, Dr. Grant being the only sensible character. Yes, in the film. <laughs> that, I will I will second that. Mm-hmm. Um there was, I thought there was going to be more fight sequences between the dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. No, they get that stuff but, out of the way early. But there was one, mm-hmm. and it was good. It was, it was, it had two big guys. Duking it out. It was out. very brief, but I thought it looked nice, and I right. thought it was, I mean, obviously, like, again, some of the CGI is a little antiquated, oh, but it's not, uh, it's not uh, aggressive, right. or uh, it's, uh, egregious, or, like, ugly by any means. Mm-hmm. It's not the prettiest, but it's not bad. For 2001, I've seen worse. Let's yeah. talk shop about that fight, by the way. Okay. In one corner, we have Spinosaurus. Yes. Known now, in uh, current times, mm-hmm. to have feasted mostly on fish. And Interesting. And a, uh, a river dweller. Right. And uh, in the other corner, we have the Mr. Tyrant Lizard King. Tyrannosaurus Rex. The dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. Dinosaurus. Yes. You put anything in the same area as that creature and it is coming out uh, dead or severely mangled. Right. No shot this fucking Spinosaurus (sighs) kills the T-Rex. I I see that they also went with a rebrand, I think. Like, I'm looking here at the logo for Mm -hmm. Jurassic Park 3. Yeah. And the logo isn't a... Uh, T-Rex. It yeah. is a Spinosaur. They gave that motherfucker front billing. So I see that they're like, they tried to make him like the new top dog of this film. Nah. But like the fact that they like just killed off the T-Rex like pretty early, I was like, that's kind of like your nah. bread and butter. That's, yeah, that's, that's how this. That's how this series got started. Mm-hmm. And you're like, just right off the bat, like, yeah, we're going to get out of the way. <laughs> so, but what I'm saying is, like, like that with that, the the fight sequence was cool. The, yeah. their, their, the action sequences are pretty suspenseful and mm-hmm. do a good job. It, um, I'm pretty sure they had some animatronics in oh, yeah. this, definitely. So, like, like puppets of some kind. Mm-hmm. So the blending of like the animatronics with some of the CGI, again, there's some flaws, but like, but it looks believable enough that yeah. it's not like glaring right. in, in certain moments. Sometimes you can see there's a, like there's some real green screen stuff <laughs> happening and it's yeah. a bit, you know, uh, mm-hmm. composite, which looks a little wonky. Mm-hmm. The like the physics of how things crash into stuff or fall, the kind of, you know, right. f- the the realism kind mm-hmm. of, but for the most part, I thought it was pretty and I think it's really yeah. cool looking. So the music, some of the sequence, like some of that kind of action stuff, there are some interesting characters. <laughs> the <laughs> the landscape 
mm-hmm. isn't is isn't a beautiful location where it really sells you on the fact that we're oh, like yeah. on this like barren huge mountain huge, tropical island exactly which I love that and it's super cool mm-hmm. I also really enjoyed the fact that the movie felt very succinct yeah it felt fast it it was only an hour and a half yeah which for like a feature length film nowadays at least you know they tiptoe on two hours for like right. a minimum almost mm-hmm. so for being an hour and a half like you're right it does feel pretty fast but but what I'm saying by succinct is like um the cast isn't huge right of like characters or like nameable characters it's a fairly small group very fairly, fairly they small keep that group. pretty consistent throughout most of the films right the series right which I think is good and mm-hmm. I think it, it lends itself to um you know the kind of story that it tells right um but I also liked that like the locations weren't like super super varied. Like mm-hmm. it was it was pretty contained on like the you know deserted island type thing. Right. So like I said, it had its moments where I thought it was really good. I think it, again for like a high budget film, mm-hmm. I think it I think it, it achieved that. Right. Um. Because of the fact that like the the original one was like made in like the what was it eighties? I want to say. Maybe Probably. you're right. Um, mid to late '90s, I think, is when the first one came out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could pull it up, but I don't know. Right. Fact check. '93, early '90s. Yep. Okay, so I thought it was in the '80s, but anyways. Um, so for like, it has that kind of like the rugged element that like that old action movies have mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah. The kind of gr- grin. Uh, I keep messing my words. Gringe. I was gonna say grunginess. Gr- I was yeah. I was gonna say grunge <laughs> and then and uh, griminess, but I was like gr- gringinging. <laughs> right. The gringinging. It was an amalgamate. Yeah, exactly. A homunculus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of words. Yeah. Um, it has that same sort of vibe that like some of those kind of like older, that kind of um. 80s, 90s action flicks mm-hmm. kind of did where yeah. there's some... It was like a transitionary thing like yeah. before it hit the 2000s. Right. Even though it was like early 90s, it still felt like an early 2000s movie. Well, this one was early 2000s, 2001. But like, but specifically oh, for... Oh shit, that's right. Specifically for <laughs> Jurassic Park, it still had that kind of vibe where it still felt mm. like an action movie, but it was its own kind of thing. This one fit more in the fact like I felt like this one felt more... It's been a while since I've seen Lost World. Yeah. But specific that was that was a while. Ago. Yeah, well, yeah. Specifically this one, it felt like um almost predator mm-hmm. in a way. Like the like the 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 same kind of like yeah. you're trapped in the woods. The locale. You know, ragtag band of people all mm-hmm. doing their thing. And it kinda had that same sort of like <laughs> significantly less oh, capable significantly band. Significantly of less. Oh, <sighs> and I guess that is where um, the good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, wait. wait. Okay, 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 okay. Before we finish okay. with the good, we got to talk about the pterodactyl shot. The pterodactyl shot's good. It's so fucking good. There's a there's a sequence when the group like this, has to like cross yeah. a gap on this rickety ass bridge. Yeah, and they're going over one at a time because they don't want anything to fucking break and all fall to their deaths. And as Doctor Grant and. Uh, Whoever the fuck his mom's name is. Amanda Kirby. Amanda. Yeah, as soon as she and he uh, cross over, uh, her son starts to cross. And uh, as he's crossing, like, about the middle point, yeah, he feels a, a big-ass vibration. Yeah. Like a run, like Not like a continued rumble, yeah, like but just like a hit doom. the thing. <laughs> and it's like, okay. And he goes, mom. And mom. then you just see, it's misty as hell, too. Mm-hmm. So from the fog, you see the silhouette of a pterodactyl slowly yeah. approaching. I'm like, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. And it, I'm running yeah, for my yeah. life. Exactly. And, and it's between it's between you and the ending that you're trying to get to. Yeah, so it no landed thanks. in front of you. I'm you, jumping off. Exactly. <laughs> and, and it's just like, it's just, I mean, like like a badass out of like a... Like a, a horror a, film. Yeah, just like walking. Just, I mean, just like big, <laughs> big dick energy. Just walking it's out like, of like, oh, yeah. shit, a snack. Yeah, Ooh. I you're gonna feed my kids. Yeah. <laughs> Guess who's on the menu, bitch? <laughs> it's your ass, right? I wasn't expecting teenage boy, but here <laughs> yeah, you are. Here you are. Oh. Um, but so yeah. It, it, yeah, such a good shot. Uh, again, the cinematography and like the overall mm. look of it oh, yeah. does a pretty good job. It has its moments. It has its moments, and it's, it's it is nice. 
But man, <laughs> but it has its flaws. <laughs> the flaw would be oh. the story of the movie. <laughs> oh man, oh, it has it, the thing is like it has potential. Right. It's not. It's not wholly bad. Mm-hmm. Like there, are, there is like a like the. Gosh, where do you even begin? <laughs> That's <laughs> let, so much. Let's begin towards the be- towards the actual beginning of the film. Let's start at the start. No if- way. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> no. <Nuh-uh. laughs> so we have our main character, Alan Grant. Right. And him and his buddy, Billy Brennan, both run this... Uh, this uh, archaeological dig site, mm-hmm. or they, they're, they're they're funded by the government, or however, yeah. however those things work. Trying to get them bones, exactly. So those are kind of our main actors of this film. Mm-hmm. But I mean, if we're going to go all the way back to the top of this movie, <laughs> there is a father and a son, and they're is it parasailing, paragliding, yeah, whatever it's called. Whatever there is a like a, a speedboat, and you do a parachute off the back of it. Mm-hmm. I think it's parasailing. Um. And they and they go off and, and again like they're <laughs> just right up against the island full of dinosaurs. Yes, and of course, like the guy on the boat's kind of like joking around about the fact that he's like, "Hey, you know, like <laughs> not gonna get too close. You don't want to get eaten." Yeah, you know how it is. And it's like, ah, so this really is illegal then. Oh yeah. Um. And as again, there's the thing is they have like a brand name on the parachute. Dinosaur, yeah, uh, that man, that's fun. <laughs> right. So that, I like that. That a little makes bit. me think like they were somehow able to get uh, permission to just tow the line as long as Pro- they don't get probably. Too close. Or again, they are just making a. They're capitalizing on a business that is <laughs> right. very illegal, but mm-hmm. they'll do it anyways. Um. So, anyways, father, son, up in the air. They're you know they're vibing, right. having a fun time. They're videoing on this little you know handy cam mm-hmm. from the nineties, taking in the sights. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's lovely. Right. And um, then the fog. Yeah, the mist rolls in. <laughs> the fucking mist <laughs> approaches the boat. And and, and this they... is where this is where I'm getting confused now. Mm-hmm. What killed them? <laughs> what killed them? Because <laughs> that boat was in remarkably good shape. Uh, it was a little banged up, but right. yeah. It had some stains, the cover was a little torn, but it's still running. Yeah, it's still running, and it's going full speed ahead. Yeah, I can only assume... Some creature just uh, did a little scoop maneuver and just got them all. It would be one thing. Now, again, if it was maybe it was the spinosaur in the water, but maybe, but then again, that puts into question a whole lot of other things we don't need to get into. Yeah. I feel like it wouldn't be that far out. The boat exits the the, the the death fog. The death fog. Literally. (laughs) And of course the dad and because again like they start to feel like the the cord starts to jostle around as they're like flying in the air. Mm -hmm. The mist clears and they're continuing forward towards a bank of rocks um, and there's no there's like um, no remains in the boat. They're all gone. They're all gone. (laughs) And it's a little disheveled Mm -hmm. like someone had kind of like you know started slashing around. them. So of course they start to panic. Right. <laughs> and then <laughs> in in like in true horror movie slash action movie kind of like logic or whatever, mm-hmm. the dad is like they're kinda of, they kinda of start to panic. Right, right. right. It, it, you know, again, justifiably, uh-huh. understandable. Yeah. And then like the the <laughs> the whole time, like while it was kind of going on, the dad's saying, like, hang on, hang on. So the son <laughs> is hanging on to the rope. Because there's nothing else to hang on to, <laughs> right. and then whenever like they start to go towards this rock, the like the dad's trying to like he's like let me let's, let's release it or whatever, right. and he's like, like let, let go, let, let go, go, let go, go. <laughs> and it's like, and then of course then the, the dad proceeds to just like like jerk off the rope for a while where he's like he doesn't actually like I don't he's not actually like <laughs> it's one of those like action movie right, panic right, things right. where like just jostling around a bit yeah 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 there's someone chasing It'll you come loose eventually there's someone chasing you. Like a whole, like a like a like a, a, a serial killers right. coming to get you, or whatever. The car starts, and all phenomenal. you do is just like, all you do no, is just you're just jiggling the doorknob. <laughs> just like I, 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 I can't get it open. <laughs> <Let me in. laughs> it's like just turn the doorknob <laughs> instead of jiggling it. Oh, Anyways, man. I'm I dig- I'm digressing. But We're anyways, shaking so hard from the again, fear you see, I, and I, and I'm, and I'm poking fun at it because it just it looks funny on the screen from right, where right, we're right. at. Oh. Whenever there's like a, just a straight up like carabiner, you can just like squeeze and let go, and you're probably gonna be free. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, um. They, uh, 
Um, they, they get loose. They get loose, and he and starts. Then they steer towards the island full, full of dinosaurs. Exactly, because that's the nearest form of land there is. Got to do what you got to do, I suppose. Fades to black, and then we're getting we're introduced to our main character, Alan Grant, right. and all that whole situation. Paleontology so, is apparently on his way out. Well, you know, I says I nuts says to that bullshit. Yeah. Um. So, and and this is where the movie. Oh gosh, mm-hmm. I, I like the more I think about it, the more I'm right. just so frustrated yeah, with some yeah. of the characters and their decisions. Right. <laughs> Again, this is where the movie has potential. Mm-hmm. Our main man, Alan Grant, does not want to go back to the island. Back to the island, justifiable. Right. Um, <laughs> he has this young spry, like um, this young guy Billy, who's like who Gung is ho about everything, uh, ambitious and wanting to like you know get stuff done. Which mm. again, I love that. I love the juxtaposition of having a young guy who was wanting to whip it in shape and get yeah. matters done, get more funding, get more the, funding, the and, digs for the things that he is appreciative of and all that kind of stuff. And you get the old guy who's kind of like, nah, you know, like because he's also touch he's also seen shit, and You're it's right. like, okay, so like almost died, almost got eaten, right? So it all like, makes maybe sense. I'm not into dinosaurs as much as I exactly uh, used to be, and that's fine, right? <laughs> Again, still appreciate him. He still made a made a career out of it. He's just, <laughs> You're right. But I mean, he's just not gonna go near him. Whenever, <laughs> whenever a guy comes up to make a pro- proposition about going to a dinosaur island, he's not the one to take the offer. He's like, nah, son, you he's got like, me nah, fucked bud. up. If you think I'm going back I there, I don't think you understand. <laughs> um, so that's that's exactly what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, our two guys are you know in a, in a tent or whatever, and in and. In, and a glasses wearing guy walks up and says, uh, Mr. Kaibi from Kaibi Enterprises. From Kaibi Enterprises. I, I got make so a, much money. Do you want some money? I made to make a proposition. Give Come me a on. tour of the Dino Land. And of course, money. They, they go and have dinner. And apparently, it is. Um, I don't think. Did they introduce themselves as a married couple? Yes, they did. Okay. Because that was what was confusing mm-hmm. me. Right. So they. So Billy and Alan mm-hmm. go out to dinner with Amanda and Paul Kirby. Right. This married couple. Paul Kirby has his proposition. He's mm-hmm. from quote unquote Kirby Industries. Right. Or Enterprises, whatever it was called. Mm-hmm. Big company. Apparently big company. Big and he's money. willing and he's willing to throw around some money to make it happen to go mm-hmm. what did he say it was? It was like a an a honeymoon. They want to just go fly over right. the take a tour. You're right. Of of uh, the dinosaur. Island. Right. So again, he's like, ah, I don't want to go do that. No, thank you. Yeah. But then, of course, <laughs> the restricted air space. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then Kirby's like, Hey, you just tell me how much you want on this check, and I'll right. write how it much out. is it gonna take? Huh? Name I'll, your price. I'll keep writing zeros until you tell me to stop. Right. And be like, my fucking life, dude. I'm not going back there. <laughs> right. So, anyways, they end up. Uh, as anybody would, whenever mm-hmm. someone starts throwing about, around big bucks and talk about writing checks, the guy's like, uh, our, 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 our main man, Alan's like, well, I mean. Raise his eyebrow. Yeah, exactly. He's like, well, I mean, if you're going to be throwing around some money now, I mean, now, I guess. now I'm incentivized. As long as we don't land. You're right. Um, So they end up getting this. And of course, we've also seen, which I, which this makes me so upset. Mm-hmm. Gosh, there's so much potential. There's so much <laughs> wasted potential, I feel like. Uh-huh. We get to see like this kind of, like, we're introduced to this kind of um, like mercenary group almost. Right. There's like hired a bunch. Muscle. Hired muscle. There's like a bunch of like plane parts and all that kind of stuff. And, and I think it's it, it, initially it's insinuating that like these guys are kind of our, our ragtag band of goons or whatever. Yeah. And Supposed they got, mainstays. Bruh. And they Slaughtered. got. Slaughtered. They've got heavy weaponry. Mm-hmm. I mean, like they they show off a force, an anti material rifle. Yeah, they blast a hole in, in a in a in a plane, and it goes up in flames, explodes. And it's like hell yeah, dude. So again, it establishes these guys as like having firepower and at least competent enough to use it. Right. So unbeknownst to us, <laughs> as our our main guys Billy and Alan are on the plane, mm-hmm. we see those goons are like the people that are actually like flying the plane and stuff. Right. And and then for you know all of us as an audience, <clears throat> I think at that point we're supposed to go, oh, so there's like mm-hmm. some sly underbelly right. that's going on here to make this happen. During the plane ride, uh, 
And it wouldn't be besides. Jurassic Park if we don't land on the freaking island. So, like, something's going to go <laughs> wrong because they also showed force with some guns. You're right, like, right. they're going to be hunting this something. Is, yeah. Clearly not just a tour. Right. And uh, during the plane ride, Ellen decides to take a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> so, whenever he wakes up, quote, unquote, yeah. he sees no one else, blood all over the plane. Yeah. And then a, a raptor. Yeah. Across the row from him. Who where, where Billy's supposed to be sitting. <laughs> right. And then he just looks over and the thing says, Alan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the, he wakes the, up. The thing is, like, it, like I know that it, like, it was definitely weird yeah. and kind of funny. It's hilarious. But, like, but, when, but whenever you realize that he wakes up and it was a dream, I was like, okay, that's like dream logic. Right. For me, I was able to suspend my disbelief <laughs> a little bit. Oh. Like this guy who's been obsessing about, because again, in the beginning of the film, He's been obsessing about the fact that there's like a bone in the, or there's like some sort of like right. They've been uh, making voice. new developments and finding out new things about velociraptors. Exactly. And how they communicate. Right. So the fact that like it's been on his mind a lot, mm. enough to where he's able to like hallucinate almost have a <laughs> weird kooky dream. I was right. like, hell yeah, that's funny. Yeah. But also like kind of cool. Because mm-hmm. again, it looked like a puppet. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. Alan. I was like, oh shit, what the hell? And he wakes up and of course it's just Billy <laughs> going like, hey, you good? <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> it's like, okay, that's fun. Mm-hmm. Um. So he ends up like, you know, he ends up doing what he was quote unquote paid to do. He's like, if you look out the left window, there's a whole herd of, you know, blah, blah, blah. If you look out mm-hmm. the right window, there's whatever. Yeah. And of course, the whole time, like <laughs> the Kirby's, yeah. it, like it, everything feels a little bit suspicious. Like mm-hmm. they're, they're not paying attention really. And they're like, like oh, yeah, yeah, about yeah. Completely different things. Talking about uh, landing strips and uh, where to set down. Yeah, exactly. And of course, immediately Grant's like, uh, nope. N- what? Nope. <laughs> Excuse me. D- nope. We're not landing this plane. That's not how it's going right. to happen. No. So he ends up trying to like attack the pilots, and you know they end up knocking them out and right. shit like that. And you know he ends up waking up and they're on the ground. And he's like, and he's like we need to take off now. But it, 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 and I, but I again, I love the dialogue at least a little bit where he's like, please don't tell me we landed. Mm-hmm. And of course you can obviously tell that the plane is like landed. Right. And he's like, well, <laughs> Billy's like, I think they're looking for somebody. It's like, who? For somebody. <laughs> Tarzan. <laughs> oh gosh. Mm-hmm. This is where I get so <laughs> infuriated. Uh huh. This is just the beginning of the end. Right. They're all outside in the middle of a runway. Amanda. Has a megaphone oh my God. and is shouting at the top of her lungs. And just know that, like, Grant, ha- this entire time, Alan Grant has, like, he's like, this is a bad idea. Right. You do not need to land here. Right. You if you value your life, you will not land. And then you want to talk about, and, like, the most insufferable interaction. <laughs> but the thing is, like, like, if you are trying to, like, the thing is, it's so infuriating mm-hmm. because I think that it's, I think that it's, like, it's written oh gosh it's hard to justify it right you, you, if you, you want it, well, exactly if you want let, let's say hypothetically we're making a story mm-hmm. and I want to have a duo couple that is insufferable that right. just gets underneath the audience's nerves I would write it like this yeah, they're perfect so if you if <laughs> if the storytellers were trying to write it to where both the Kirby's Paul and Amanda mm-hmm. are like just insufferable right and like and really hard to like because at this point, it's not even a lack of experience. It's a lack of common sense. Uh, yeah. You, like, you're a civilian. Yes. Granted, if you knowingly yeah. land on an island full of gigantic ancient beasts, yeah. some of which can and will take the opportunity to eat and uh, kill you, yep. do not grab the nearest megaphone oh, and announce your presence and, to the entire and island. And shout into the wilderness. <laughs> it's... It's hard. It's insane. The th- but that's what I'm saying. It's like, if, but if you were trying to portray a really dumb, no common sense character, mm-hmm. I think they knocked it out. Of the oh park. yeah, did a bang because, up because job. this this first interaction I think really solidifies it for me, and I'm mm-hmm. like, I know my expectation now. Right. <laughs> I can so, put no faith in you whatsoever. So she's holding the microphone, holding the megaphone, and screaming out like into the edge of the wilderness. She's not in the weeds yet, mm-hmm. but she's like kind of out uh, on the outskirts of the trees. <laughs> right. And and Alan c- comes running out the plane, and he's like, "She like, needs to shut the fuck she up. Needs to stop that." And of course, he's uh, the hut, or well, as we know, is the husband right now, right. Paul. He's like, "What do you what? Huh?" And of course, <laughs> he, he's like, "She needs to stop." Hey, yo, stop! <laughs> right. And he turns around. And he's like. 
hey, Amanda, he says to <laughs> cut stop. Cut out. <laughs> cut out. And she goes, what? what? And then <laughs> through the megaphone goes, what? <laughs> and then turns back around and says, what's, what are you saying? Uh, and he's, and then, and then of course, you know, Paul has to uh, scream louder. <laughs> he says to stop. It won't be safe. And it's like, oh my uh, God, Jesus. dude. What? Is, huh? Mm-hmm. The next, the next time oh, I see a carnivore, I'm pushing you over and running away. <laughs> and then the thing is, like, I know we had, and this is what makes it hard. Oh, gosh, <laughs> it's it's so. You have proven to me that you're a liability. The hard part about this whole situation is, is we have three goons, mm-hmm. all of which the armed goon squad the armed goon squad one of them <laughs> may, may i remind you has the 50 caliber explosive rifle and, ha- and has a vest laden with magazines of ammunition mm-hmm. <laughs> not one the only time a gun was fired <laughs> was in that show of force yeah. when they blow up a plane mm-hmm. that was the only time yeah after you hear the spinosaurus roar in the background you hear a couple shots go off but that's it. That's it. Yeah. And it was just... It feels like such a missed potential. Yeah. But I under, I think I understand what they're trying to go with here. They're, mm-hmm. they're like, they don't want to make them the focus. They don't want to make them the cool guys. They want them to kind of be, I guess, a little more comedic or, you know, or expendable. Mm-hmm. You don't want to flush other characters because right. you want them to be offed. They got to get eaten by dinosaurs. But, I mean, just give me a little something, man. <laughs> The guy, the guy, uh, Udetsky, I mm-hmm. think his name, he has the, like I said, a, a full tactical vest mm-hmm. with, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it's six to eight magazines, banana magazines of like <laughs> AR ammunition or right. AK, like, like, uh, some uh, type of rifle. Ammo. Right, right. 0.56 ammunition or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, he's got a whole bunch of it. Right. And he has a combat knife. <laughs> like like the freaking uh what is it like the is it ODST or no no uh, Spartans Sp- like Spartans have mm-hmm. strapped to like his uh his like a lapel <laughs> right. or whatever and it's like that guy looks like he's ready to do some shit mm-hmm. <laughs> and like as, so we get as we walk through the woods after the fucking disaster that ensues he ends up saying so what are you, are you like a mercenary it's like oh, well I never said I was it's like well okay then what do you do it's like I'm more of like a bookkeeper like a desk jockey. Their guy was sick and he couldn't come. It's like, oh, good. Yeah, love it. Great. So, like, here, here's what gets me is like, like I said. So they start causing a ruckus, mm-hmm. and of course, the second they do that, this spinosaurus comes out of the wilderness. Right. The other yeah. two goons come out of the woods saying, "We have to go." Yeah, right we have now. to go right now. It's like, oh my god, finally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some common sense. <laughs> right. So we uh, found it. They have it all. Yeah. So almost everybody gets loaded up on the plane. Yeah, except for one guy, Cooper. Yep, the guy with the gun. Of course. <laughs> they start the takeoff sequence, and Cooper just comes running out the woods, all bloodied and beaten. Right. And, and he's, he's like, like, hey, stop the plane. It's like, uh, <laughs> no. Uh, at this point, like, uh, oh, gosh. It's like, again, this is where the common sense leaves the room. Mm-hmm. There is a plane. And if anybody knows how a plane functions, mm-hmm. like, you have pretty good brakes. Yeah. But, like, you can't stop on a dime. No. Especially whenever you have already spooled up the engines mm-hmm. and you're at the far end of the runway and you have already, like, traveled a couple hundred yards right. and, like, have got up enough energy where you're almost about to take off. Mm-hmm. There is a there's a term in, like, aviation where there is a point of no return mm-hmm. where if you have gotten this fast, like, at a certain speed level and you are at this distance mark, you got to take off. Yeah. There's a point of no return no. where like, where <laughs> you are going too fast and have too little runway mm-hmm. to stop this thing effectively without running it off the runway. Yeah. Just a little little side tangent for those of you who may not know that <laughs> right. out there. So this guy is probably over halfway the runway. He's probably at that point now mm-hmm. where like there's a point of return. Oh, yeah. And even if you don't fully know that, like it's almost like we all know that a train Mm-hmm. takes a long time to stop. Right. At least I would hope. If you don't, please go seek help. Mm-hmm. A train is a very heavy <laughs> load of machinery and it doesn't oh, yeah. just stop on a dime. It takes a long stretch of road, mm-hmm. a long stretch of railway to stop. Same kind of thing with a plane. Yep. 
They can stop pretty fast. If you're going to, I mean, a car can stop pretty quickly, but even still, if you're going fast enough, you're going to just jump mm-hmm. out on the road. It's going to take a it's second. It's going to take a second to stop. Right. This guy stands out there and is like crying and is like, <laughs> stop the plane. And it's like, and I mean, this plane is flying down yeah. the runway. And I'm like, are you, no, you've got to be real you Cut dumb. your losses, dude. You're I, down an arm. You have got to be, <laughs> you've got to have a death wish. Oh, that's, yeah. that's all you're doing. You're just like, Motherfucker had a kill death me wish. now. <laughs> that's all you're saying to me right <laughs> all now. Right. But then before that happens, run over the bruh, Before that happens, the dinosaur comes running out and of course gobbles him up. Mm-hmm. And of course the pilot panics and then pulls back, which I mean I feel like he should have been pulled back far before then. But oh yeah. I'm not a professional or anything. <laughs> right. He pulls knows? back and then of course they take off. And I They clip the uh the Spinosaurus. They clip the Spinosaurus a little bit. And right. I understand that this is for the like the action of the movie right, for the movie to continue <laughs> right for the movie to continue they have to wreck and then be stranded on the island mm. but <laughs> i would wager that mm. even if you clipped the bottom even if you clipped your landing gear off mm. or you may have like if if the pro- the props were still intact and you didn't have major hull damage mm. you could have still you could have still uh maintained high elevation right. and at least made it out mm mm-hmm. That's not what happened. Nope. They bump it, and of course, he just, I mean, I don't know. I, I could be wrong. It looked like he just fully nose down, nose dived. Yeah. He bumped it, and they just like full, leaned full forward, and it's like, meow, into the yeah. trees. And it's like, okay, I guess that's what we're doing now. <laughs> sure. Uh, I know you don't know how to, how to work a rifle. Maybe you don't know how to work, work a plane either. But I hey, don't know how we got here. Guy knows how to make an instant treehouse. Hey, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where Dylan was talking about. There's a whole lot of... right. There's a whole lot of uh, catastrophe that takes place after the, that. Mm-hmm. The plane gets stuck in the canopies of these trees, uh, after which the Spino uh, probably upset that it's got a new tattoo on its yeah. right side. <laughs> right. Is uh, I mean, like, hey, you look I got a like a fairly nifty Pez dispenser. Yeah. Only, I don't like how those work, so I'm just going to take the top <laughs> off and uh, just nibble. <laughs> Right. So so the pilot gets... He cracks it open like a can. Oh, yeah. And immediately they start trying to make their way to the back of the plane just to get away from it, and it nabs one yeah. of them. Nabs the guy who was actually piloting the plane. Mm-hmm. He gets gobbled up. Oh, yeah. And this is what I mean. is like at no point was there <laughs> ever a gun, <laughs> I mean, a weapon of any kind. Right. I mean, this guy had the biggest rifle... With like <laughs> an incendiary explosive round, mm-hmm. got you. Where was that? Because you want to talk about clearing the cabin of all the human beings and sitting in the back and just going, "Hold on, guys," and then just <laughs> letting it rip. Oh yeah, no, Cooper had that rifle. Really? Yeah. Oh, Whenever God. he got back to the runway, he didn't have it anymore. <laughs> I can only assume while he was running, he just fucking dropped it. What? Oh my God! <laughs> I wish you would have told me that. <laughs> Anyways, so, you know, chaos ensues. Mm. This is where the whole T-Rex and Spinosaur fight happens. And then we start... I still can't get over that, man. Yeah. If a T-Rex gets a bite on you, you're done. Right, and I don't... They did it twice, and I don't understand why. Mm -hmm. This may have been just like a 90s, early 2000s thing, which I think it is when I think about it, like action movies that don't want to be super gory and get... A rated R, because mm-hmm. wait, was this rated? This rated PG thirteen, so they probably really? did it on purpose. Yeah, they probably wow. did this on purpose because it wasn't. I mean, there wasn't again. There no guns, no the blood was very minimal, no gore. Yeah, you know, like so. If I was to guess, they, they what I'm talking about I is thought the, they would have at least drawn the line of like the neck snaps. Uh, no, <laughs> and, that, 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 and that's what I was gonna say is that technically, like a because it's not super gory at all. Oh, there was I a see. there was like a I mean even I think some of like the some of the older action flicks kind of did that. They were like still quote unquote PG thirteen. Right. They had for a, back then. <laughs> they had like well you know they had like that was a big thing. It was like a neck snap, and I was like yeah. oh you like, know like, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. So that's what happened. Is a like spinosaur like not like it like bites his neck, but then mm. like like puts his foot on his head and then just like snaps his neck. Right. And it was like, I think it was a bit out of character, but I understand why you want to do that instead of it being like an actual monster, like full on Godzilla, like just right. tearing the shit out of this guy. Mm-hmm. Cause then that'd be a little bit aggressive and probably Before. too gory. So it's like, okay, I get it. Um, 
But in, in this sequence, this is like the kind of the the moment where we start to understand the true intentions, mm-hmm. the reason they came to the island. We're all here. We're all stranded. We're all almost a little bit wounded in a way, and it's like, oh, now now the now the um, the heirs have been, mm-hmm. you know, time to get rid of all that and kind of talk right. about what's why we're really here. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, what the hell is happening here? <laughs> so that's whenever we realize that Udeski is actually just like a desk guy, mm-hmm. and he's just you know, yeah, not really a. It's in his name, exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> And again, has no gun because I think it got ruined in the. Yeah. But at that we point, we see him pick it up, and it's all bent to shit. Oh, it's all sideways like, and everything. Just throws it. But at that point, like I understand, probably it's for looks. But like, if you have no gun and there's no guns at all, you still got the knife. No, not even that. I'm not even there yet. Mm-hmm. Get rid of the am the ammo. You've yeah, got so many. You don't. You've need got it. a full bandolier it's dead of weight. ammo. It's so much dead weight. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, bro, what? I don't. I understand if it's like a tactical vest, but like just empty the the magazine pockets, right? Please. Oh man! But then not only that, he has a combat knife, mm-hmm. and not. <laughs> I mean, not once. He doesn't pull the thing out. Does he unsheath yeah, that? And I'm. And I st- and believe me when I say, I don't want to go hand to hand with anything. Right. This is but, an island full of what are yes. essentially monsters. Yes. I ain't throwing hands, I ain't bro. throwing hands with nobody, but no. you better believe if I got a freaking boot knife... If it comes down to I, it, I'll stab a bitch. <laughs> I tell you, that's all I'm saying. Right. I'm not saying I'm going to be a war hero, but, oh, if yeah. I, but if I have something, it's better than nothing. Mm-hmm. Especially if it's against a velociraptor. <laughs> Rock. Who's got, who's got, who's got <laughs> speed and teeth. I know for a fact that like, if I'm... I'm definitely gonna die here, right. but I'm gonna take at least I'm gonna one. Do as much I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna as try I can. my hardest to take down two of you bitches with me. <laughs> right. I'm gonna make it by KD Dude, positive. That's your cap. That's my. I, I, that's all I'm I gotta saying. go positive. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, to help oh my, my if you and me are stranded Dude. at the very least, if, if I if I got He's to kill about, my KD's about I'm to be two I'm telling one, you, I'm bro. Be a positive, dude. Jesus, that's I want, hilarious. I want I want there to be a story to be told. I was like, man, <laughs> he went down and he went down hard, but he took down two with him. You should have seen that's it. That's the best. That's what I'm talking about. I don't want. I don't want. That's. I don't want to be Rambo war hero. Right. But like, but Conan if, the barbarian. If I could be, that's fine. But mm-hmm. like, you know, let's say hypothetically I do, that's and I hilarious. was able to kill one or maybe two. I'm like, that's uh, that's all I need. But like, but I'm gonna be running. Right. Like that's, of course. Like that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just I feel like there's a level of like there's a level of I gotta be cornered for that shit. I'm Man, just saying. like uh, that's that's the I, only uh, way. Right. That's what I mean. Is I'm gonna, I, I if the very least I'm gonna be dis- distracting for my fellow uh, companions to get mm, out. Right. At the very least, to be like, I'm, this is probably it for me. But yep. I'm gonna take a few you bitches down. If if <laughs> yeah. if not wound a handful of you guys, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna make it hard for you guys. <laughs> you want lunch? You gotta earn <laughs> yeah, it. You gotta bitch. earn this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Uh, but anyways, so like I said, I, I, I'm, I'm I'm harping on this because again, right, he right. has this. I mean, he has this, and it's a pretty big, sizable knife. It's mm. not like a little pocket knife or anything. And uh, and so they end up. You know, they're walking around and we start to understand what's all happening. We realize that Paul Kirby is not part of some big right. industry with a, a lot of money. Phony. And of course, Alan Grant's like, Ugh. so I guess that check you were writing <laughs> we're was one of the worst places of... on earth and we're not even getting paid. Yeah, that's a good line. Uh, that's a hard line. Yeah. We're on the worst place on earth and not even getting paid for mm-hmm. it. It's like, damn, that's that's hard. Yeah. We realize that he does like a like a home renovation business, and it's like, right. okay, yeah, you're not, <laughs> you ain't got no money, yeah, you ain't got the money to make this worth it for me. Oh no, that's what I mean. No, um, I've had one near death experience too many for me to yeah. short sell myself. And we also don't know if we're gonna get out of this alive, right? <laughs> so newsflash, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> so then we start to realize why they're actually here, and they're looking for a kid named Eric. They're looking for somebody named Eric. Mm -hmm. And, of course, it comes to find out as their kid. Yeah. And this is where the whole (laughs) plot falls apart for me. Uh Uh-huh. You can tell... You can ask Dylan the amount of times I had to take a deep (laughs) We paused, like, what, two, Two, three times? Two or three times just because I had to collect myself. (laughs) Just had to... I just had had to... I just had to take my... I had to take a breath. Right, right. Because I was like... uh, I just... (laughs) So there was the f- 
the step again apparently the stepfather i didn't know this i was confused mm-hmm. at first right let me just describe how i was confused there's this woman amanda kirby right man paul kirby the whole farce that was going on was they were married and wanted to do a honeymoon and like see the this whole place from the right. sky the cover story so that was the cover story and so i was confused and mm-hmm. thought that they weren't married at all like they were just like that was the whole it was all a bluff right but then i was confused because i was like so it's her kid Mm -hmm. and then it was talking about the fact that she was divorced at one point in time right and i don't think i properly caught on that she was divorced from paul Mm -hmm. and i was like okay so wait so she was divorced from the guy so the guy and the son are on the beach together alone and I was like, okay, so so that's that's his father, mm-hmm. her ex, his ex wife or whatever. But then no, I was right. scratch all, all the that. way around, all the way around. She was married to Paul, mm-hmm. Amanda was, and they got a divorce. Right. And come to find out later in the later in the film, a little bit, mm-hmm. I don't think they've been they've been divorced for that long. Right. He tells a story about how they went fishing a couple of summers ago. Uh, well, even even shorter because it says that like that um that I uh, he is referring to like the fact that she like totaled three cars in three years, mm-hmm. and he was talking about the fact that he was like oh like the the what, Buick didn't count. I wanted the new SUV <laughs> exactly, and so it's like so. Anyways, like like there's and there's a few other comments that make it seem like they got a divorce, and very quickly afterwards she got married again mm-hmm. to this other guy right. who apparently was parasailing with her son. Mm-hmm. Their son, right? Um, so we're talking very a year, very short turnaround, maybe a year or two. Who that, knows? That she got remarried to this guy, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. So, um, I know that people don't put a whole lot of weight in marriage, a whole lot on that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And again, I don't think it's ever <clears throat> fully. Well, it it was never fully explicitly said, but it, let's right. let's they, they don't say why they split up. Let's hypothetically say mm-hmm. that that boy was what 13, 12? yeah, something or the other twelve. Let's I, I don't know how how old the kid is, but let's say the kid's thirteen years old, mm-hmm. and if they divorced recently, that means they were least married for ten to twelve years, right? Which is nothing to shake a stick at. You're married to someone for a pretty long amount of time. And if you're gonna get divorced, and, and this is just my personal opinion, I uh-huh. could be wrong. Right. This is not anybody else's opinion. If you're gonna be married to someone for ten years and get a divorce, you probably have a pretty good understanding of why you divorced them. Right. It's why- gonna take a lot. Yeah. I mean, you gotta at least you have to understand like why you got divorced or um know the boundaries of like we can't. Well, there's a hard line here. Right. And apparently they're willing to put aside their grievances with each other to save their son. Which I totally understand right. that. That makes total sense. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, you know, trying to bluff and trying to play around, I could understand all that. That makes sense. But there's like a couple of like, there's a couple of like, <laughs> like the the movie and the characters, they really try to hammer on the fact that like, like they kind of are trying to make, make amends <laughs> right. in a yeah. way. Like the, it's kind of like a will they, won't they mm-hmm. sort of thing. And it's like, uh, I wouldn't be opposed to that if, um, if they weren't fully divorced and maybe not married as long. The hard thing to right. the hard thing to swallow is the fact they were married for potentially over a decade, mm-hmm. got a divorce. She got <laughs> remarried. Yeah. She has a husband that has been lost. Mm-hmm. That, that she doesn't know where he is or her son. Yeah. And at that point, it's like okay, if you got again. I know people don't probably hold a lot of weight in marriage, but if you're going to go through the act of getting remarried to somebody, yeah. you had to go through a commitment. <laughs> right. You had That's, to find someone that you wanted to like spend a lot, like, you know, spend some money and some time with. That is the worst part because whenever they find his corpse, like his decaying skeleton. Yes. Hanging from the chute. Yes. She freaks out. Yeah. And then Paul goes to comfort her, like, hey, I'm sorry about yeah, yeah, what's yeah. his face. And right. she's like, it's not him. It's Eric. He's out there all alone. It's like, oh, so you just didn't care. Yeah, yeah so you really didn't care <laughs> like, about him. Jesus Christ. He really was just a rebound. <laughs> oh and, and, and again, like I said, it, it wouldn't even be that bad if they weren't married. If if she was just, like, if that was just her boyfriend. Mm-hmm. 
Like that was just somebody right. she was hooking just up some with. Some guy. Some guy to help, you know, also be there for her son and right. during this hard time of being divorced, probably less than a year. Mm-hmm. Like it's all these little things of like, <laughs> okay, so like you're married for over a decade, you get divorced, but like you still kind of have feelings for each other. Like I can sort of kind of even understand that where like you want to get separated. But again, because you went through the full divorce process, right. like that makes it a little bit more solidified. Mm-hmm. Like you really went through the whole process. If they were just separated, it would even be more right. amicable where it's like it's, they could be working through the differences. The difference between I want to take a break or I don't want you in my life anymore. Exactly. <laughs> and it's like, okay, so now it's like we're dealing with a lot of like relational right. things yeah, to, try and, yeah. to try and get down. <laughs> and, Let's and, talk about dinosaurs. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. And then not only that, apparently... We can't find the remains of the sun, mm-hmm. but we. But in the process of going around the around the wilderness, right, like they find the camera. Like, well, no, well, yeah, they find the camera and they find the the remains of the shoot and everything like that. And of course, then the body falls out of the tree. On the video, it looks like the kid didn't fall very far. Right. I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. It was just a trick of the camera, but like. Yeah. It really looked like the kid got detached, fell, and was not that far off the ground. No. That's what it seemed like. Mm-hmm. So for me, whenever they were watching the video camera, I was like, oh, so they both made it out alive because they're not like strung up in a tree 50 miles in the air. Right. No. Apparently. And then when out of nowhere, <laughs> the and this is where my mind was, mm-hmm. just to let you know. Right. Then when the body, and we're talking about decaying, it's a skeleton. Oh, yeah. It's like mummified mm-hmm. almost. Picked clean. <laughs> Falls out of the the a tree, the mm-hmm. canopy, and is like kind of all like tangled up in the wires and, and all that kind of stuff. Right. And is like dangling there. Mm-hmm. And of course, Amanda has her like freak out session oh, for, yeah. for, for, it gets, <laughs> for she gets too tangled long. Up in it. She gets yeah. tangled up in it. And of course, she's like screaming and hooping and hollering right. for far too long. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I, again, I'm not trying to belittle like the situation, <laughs> oh, no, 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 but no, it's like, no. but there's a point in time where like I would scream. You've already established that you need to be quiet. But right. well, being well, faced with a carcass, yes. it's understandable. And that tangled up, you. I would scream, probably panic, mm-hmm. and then, of course, would have to then, like, calm myself down to then get myself out right, of it. Right, right. I wouldn't just keep can, freaking yeah, out. exactly. That's only going to make it worse. So, anyways, uh, I'm digressing. Right. <laughs> this is where my head's at. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm like, the the first thing that goes through my head is, that's not... This is the red herring. This isn't the dad. Right. This isn't the dad or the son. This is somebody else that met the same fate. Oh. That's where my head was. Okay. Because I was like, there's no way that, there's no, oh God, there's no way. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Collect yourself. I don't understand. <clears throat> <clears throat> Unless the son <laughs> really hated his stepdad, right. which which it didn't seem like it. No. From the beginning they part had a of fairly it, decent relationship from exactly. the looks of it. Exactly. From the beginning part of the film, his stepdad, not like mom's boyfriend, stepfather. Right. Seemed to have a pretty okay relationship. Yeah. There wasn't any visible hate or resentment <sighs> there. But you have you expect me to watch the video <laughs> that makes it look like the sun fell a max of five feet out of a tree Mm -hmm. and he was attached to your back yeah and it just cuts there and it just cuts there because he's like oh what happened and because he looks up and he says oh the camera's still on almost as if he's able to reach up to turn it off and it was dangling from their belt Mm -hmm. (laughs) so first of all unless and this is where my head was i I, I just i couldn't Mm -hmm. wrap my head around it right 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 you expect me to believe that the son just left his stepfather there. He got, was too far up the tree or got tangled. And then I was like, okay, so then my, my brain went to the, the thing of like, maybe they got attacked. Mm-hmm. But I was that like, that area but, was surrounded by all those nests. Right. And I, and I get it. So I'm like, but at that point in time, like, there was enough time for, it just doesn't click. Mm-hmm. There's enough time and it was not hard to get the vest off for the son and right. it shouldn't have been that hard for the dad <laughs> to also get the vest off as well and be on the ground with his stepson. Right. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I think the movie would have been a little bit better if the father, if the stepfather was there. I think, now hear me out. <laughs> I think the movie would have been a whole lot better uh-huh. if there was a will they, won't they 
with the like let's say hypothetically that she's not remarried but it's the boyfriend yeah that she is like separated from her husband not mm-hmm. divorced separated from her husband and she's like with this guy on the side as like a as like a uh uh like a, a, like a like, triangle. Like, no no I, I think it would have been infinitely more interesting if all of a sudden she's like kind of mending the friendship uh, with her husband that she's mm-hmm. separated with and is like realizing like the stress and all that kind of stuff while they're searching for the step, the you know boyfriend in this question in this yeah. hypothetical scenario and their actual son together, and then of course they get back together and she has to then like reconcile with the idea of like you're my boyfriend we've been on through all this trauma mm-hmm. but this is my husband and I'm kind of falling back in love with him <laughs> like 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 do you see how much more like kind of interesting and like emotionally right. engaging that would have been as comparatively bare bones as it stands right now <laughs> but no I he falls that's... out of a tree and is a carcass and it's like <laughs> okay right. cool so we have no idea what his name is either yeah. at least I didn't <laughs> and then and then and this is why and I knew this was going to happen uh-huh. I, I so knew this was going to happen yeah I was like the kid's going to be alive. And that's bullshit. <laughs> well, <of course>. That's bullshit. <laughs> if the kid was able to run away and just leave his stepfather in the but tree just to somehow rot. Somehow miraculously made it to an old engine facility. There was apparently no, again, in the in the film, he's in no distress to like to run away. So it just seems like he, was like, he casually got, and I was like, okay, bye, stepdad, right, and then walk away. And then like... Going to my water truck. Right. So then... And they start talking about it, and of course they like. Uh, again, it, it even it even I think the movie would have been better is mm-hmm. if even in that beginning sequence we established that like the kid has some survival skills. Yeah, even just a little bit. Boy it, Scout it, at the very it, least. You could have just thrown a line in there that mm-hmm. like, oh, he's like, he's got all the merit badges. <laughs> like just even just a little <laughs> right. inkling to be like but no. But instead, they, all we get is you remember how hard he was to ground. Yeah, and because like, he just was what. So he's just a fucking asshole. He was res- <laughs> he, the the father said he was resourceful. Right, and I was like, was it how? <laughs> that, that, and there's nothing wrong with that. I've yeah. seen resourceful teenagers that were able to get themselves out of trouble. Right. But will they survive on a dinosaur laden island? Right, full of creatures he has nothing, like no idea. And about. there's also I don't know about oh, you. Oh, but wait, he read Doctor Grant's books. Okay. A slight bit of insight. That's not that, I, again. That's not bad. That's <laughs> right. at least something. Yeah. But I saw. Oh no, no I'm not serious. No, 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 no. But what I'm saying is like I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt right, at least right. a little bit because I'm yeah, trying yeah. to I'm trying to give him something. Right. But at least like I didn't see any food. <laughs> I didn't see any fresh water. Like yeah. the, the, the hard thing is, it'd be one thing if it was like a like a, a verdant like plethora of like random fruits and vegetables everywhere. Yeah, he says like whenever he saves Grant that yeah. they left a bunch of stuff behind, right. rations, food, and water included. So he was just sitting pretty. <laughs> I'm, 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 g- I'm getting there. Right, right, right. Uh, eventually, it, they do kind of fix their mistake a little bit, mm-hmm. or uh, what I call a mistake. They kind of they. They make it better. They they <laughs> right. mend the wound that Put I have. Put a band aid on it. Exactly. Um, because at a, at a certain point they do find him. He's like he's. <laughs> you don't hear that, folks? This movie wounded. <laughs> uh, it just was. It was. It's hard. Whenever I'm like <laughs> like we were. I didn't want to. I didn't. I wanted to save all right, of those right. hypotheticals yeah, for, yeah, this, yeah. for this for yeah, this here. Yeah, yeah. But I was like I wanted to pause. I wanted you to pause it because now I had to collect myself. <laughs> we could, we'd like to present this section of the <sighs> podcast that we like to call shoulda coulda woulda. Yeah. <laughs> One hundred percent. The thing man. is, I was like, "Bro, we've been going for. <laughs> is it already been an hour? <laughs> it's been fifty minutes. Jesus Christ! <laughs> the thing okay, is, hold all on, right, hold we gotta on. wrap no, it no, up. No, hold on, hold on. No, no, wait. We can, we can still go. Yeah, yeah. I wanted you to pause the movie because I was like, <laughs> I am. I'm not even a great writer. Right. I'm not even a great writer. But I was like, but I, I think that I can structure this story even a little bit better. <laughs> not even finishing the film. Yeah. I was like, and, I, and it probably would have been more confusing or mm-hmm. about an extra actor. I, I whatever want to cut. I would have been, right. I think it would have been more fun. Even if the, even if Amanda was still just as insufferable, <laughs> but then, but she then, could stay the same. Well, it's fine. Uh, no, no, no. But, like, but let's say hypothetically, the boyfriend is competent. Oh, in this in this I hypothetical see. scenario, I'm saying that like her, together ex, they form a one functioning uh, human. Her husband is like, 
is still nice. She still loves him. There's still some redeeming qualities, but like her boyfriend is resourceful or is like even more competent. So it's like he has some draw. Right. It's like oh, he's attractive, at least in the fact that he can get us off this island. Like <laughs> right. just anything where it's like, I, it doesn't even have to take that much brain power for me mm-hmm. to just to kind of sit here and go like, hmm, <laughs> let's just say the boy <laughs> is a boy scout. <laughs> right. And it makes everything make sense. Add a little more capability just to a his little survival. More because right now, they're walking around, they're like, he's all alone. And then we find out it's been eight weeks. Right. Nearly two months. Two months. <laughs> and of course, they're like, I just know he's alive. I'm like, how? Mm-hmm. You just watched the carcass of your now husband, now a very dead husband, yeah. falling out of a tree. And you're like, I just know he's alive. Are you sure? Because he's resourceful? Are you positive? Because he's hard, he's a little rascally rabbit? Yeah. <laughs> what? He's just I was so like, wily. Exactly. And I was like, that's fine. And again, and maybe that's, like I said, maybe that was their way of trying to say that, that like, again, yeah. without hitting the nail on the head, that like, he is very, he is very, you know, capable mm-hmm. at all that kind of stuff. But it's Most like, but, out here collecting Tyrannosaurus piss. Oh God. And what a weird line. <laughs> what a weird line. As if, like, How did you collect this? Territory. Oh, you don't want to know. Like, I kind of do, man. What are you insinuating? As shitty as it is, I, I have to know. You just sat there underneath a, ty- a T-Rex just waiting for him to piss? <laughs> right. Just hold the bottle under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and that makes sense. Because <laughs> you can just do that now. Yeah. I don't, it just, it, it, it was so. And again, there was a handful of times where like, where the, both the parents were like, they just gave him so much, they gave him the benefit of the doubt, mm-hmm. this whole movie. And I was, and again, it's not, I'm, I don't want to be pessimistic, but it's like, but you, I, I know why we're here. And uh-huh. I know this is a story. Right, I know right. the kid's probably alive. <laughs> but when you really think about it, I was like. Perhaps that's the point. Maybe we shouldn't it, think. Maybe we shouldn't think. Maybe, maybe we, we should just be this like a Godzilla film. Uh, I can't though. No. Godzilla's it, way better. I can't there, believe I made I, that comparison. I was going to say, it would have been, uh. been one thing if they had some great dinosaur fights. Right. But we get one no and, ba- and barely that <laughs> right anyways what the whole thing i was trying to say with it, i'm trying to wrap up that whole can conclude that whole thought that i was having yeah, yeah, yeah. was that like they just keep like giving him the benefit of the doubt that like he's very he's logical he has all this stuff mm-hmm. and i was like but but you haven't really given me any like proof that he is though <laughs> The beginning of the film just makes him out to be a regular right. teen preteen kid we're not his parents we don't know a damn thing and I just However, know it'd be nice. I just know that you throw if they just provide a, a bit of insight, perhaps. It, right, you throw an average teenager <laughs> out into the out into a dinosaur laden island. I can like five minutes. Again, even like like I can even get, like I could stretch it out to like he was pretty close to that facility. Mm-hmm. They had like the Velociraptors in it, right? So I can understand like again, I'm Got not real saying, lucky. I'm and, and this is what I'm saying. Eventually, they end up uh, our our guy. Grant, mm. Professor or Doctor Grant, whatever, yeah, gets surrounded, and then out of nowhere, these like smoke grenades start coming out, mm-hmm. flushes then, out the raptors, right, and then out of the smoke, yes, Eric, exactly, boy with leaves, right, on <laughs> Gilly <him>. boy, <laughs> exactly, and he drags him away to his little secret hideout. It's mm-hmm. a little busted down water truck, and of course, it's like a there's like an opening hatch on the top. And so they're able like, to kind of crawl in through that. Mm-hmm. That's like a little secret base of action. And there's like a bunch of rations and stuff in there. Yep. A lot of stuff. And it's like, okay. Thank and, you. At that point, <laughs> I was like, so now my suspension of disbelief is a little bit more. Right. I mean, it's still hard. Suspension again, meter increased. <laughs> a little bit. Because I was like, okay. So, I mean, he may have found some stuff that makes sense. I kind of figured that was going to happen. Mm-hmm. But again, I, I, the part that was making it hard for me was like, none of these like capable adults have found it. Right. Yet he was just like, Unga bunga, and then found it all. <laughs> right, and it's like all right, okay. Um, Revealed the caveman instinct. Exactly. Neanderthal um, activate, and then like they they just keep insinuating that because he's been out here, and again, I'm not saying that this wouldn't happen because mm-hmm. it probably would. After being out in the wilderness and surviving for probably, you know, upwards of sixty days, right? What they say, eight weeks. You probably do get an understanding of the landscape, an understanding of migration stuff. Mm-hmm. Like you probably get that. Like you kind of understand some some sounds or some things that right. like you sort of understand patterns of things. Mm-hmm. I'm he not gets saying into that, the groove. I get that, but like they almost give him like superhuman hearing <laughs> right. is what he like inherits apparently from being out here for almost two months. Mm-hmm. 
Like no one else. And there's not like it's like, the new type sense. Yeah. Like, oh shit! I, there's stuff happening. Spidey sense is tingling. Uh-huh. It would be one thing if even us as the audience could hear it to where like at least it was an audible thing, mm. but we don't. Yeah. There's no sound, and all of a sudden this kid's like, "Did you hear that? They're they're coming!" And it's, it's my like, dad's phone. Like what? I, are you sure? As they get closer, they do hear it. However, once they get to his parents, it's not coming from them. Mm. They each get to like either side of this uh, old electric fence. And uh, you want to talk about the funniest clip in this entire thing? <laughs> yeah. They all turn around and, and like, and it's like, have you ever seen that photo of Sasquatch being caught? Mm-hmm. It's like the kind of like, huh, right. his, like his arms kind of like, <laughs> like hanging out there. Yeah. They all turn around, and as they and do, the, the there's the spinosaurus just, just standing there, like, huh? Like he got caught. Yeah. And of course, but but the whole time his mouth is slightly open. Yeah. All you hear is you can hear the ringtone. Like you are fucking with me right now. <laughs> and I was like, you want to talk about the funniest thing? I'm dreaming right I was now. Like, there's no way. Not only did this kid from many yards away mm-hmm. hear this, but heard it from, from the what? inside, from the gullet. From deep within the bowels. Of a gigantic dinosaur. Get out. It's some bullshit. Yeah. That, there's there's, there's no just way. no way. There's a few oh. more times where he has that, where he has like, this kind of like this sixth sense It's kind like of the thing. fucking alligator with the clock yeah. from Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> the TikTok clock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, Shmi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good because it's yeah. a it's a spinosaurus, right. so it's all in the water. <laughs> oh, that's good. Damn, that's funny. Mm. I didn't think about that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, Fucking wow. cartoon shit. Oh, yeah, it's so funny. It's the best. Anyway, some Ugh. more some more antics happen. Right. Near death experiences. I got real. Now you may consider that a brush off, <sighs> but trust us. If you've seen this movie before, you'll know that the rest of it is barely worth talking about. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, I got real upset because at a certain point, I uh, I thought that our boy Billy died because mm-hmm. it didn't like, because again, it, like they really insinuated that. He's like floating oh, yeah. down the river. He got mauled by Pteranodons. <laughs> right, right. And it's like, damn, that sucks. Mm-hmm. But apparently they got, they, they saved him somehow. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which I'm not going to question. I'm like, at this point, anything sure. goes. We have a superhuman child. We have, you know, and I started joking. He fought around. off the pterodactyls. Uh, I started making a joke. I was like, this kid can now s- sense radio waves. <laughs> what, what else did I say? I was like, um, oh, I was like, yeah, yeah. He's been out here for two months and now he can smell radio waves. <laughs> <laughs> or no, electromagnetic waves. That's what it was. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Uh, I can sense a cell phone signal. Right. I feel it in my uh my in my bad knee. <laughs> my uh my my little my uh my arthritis starts to oh act up whenever God. I know that the cell phone's close. Rapid aging. Yeah. Jesus. So anyways, it, it's a wild ride. It's really it's hard for me to suspend my disbelief with some of the stuff that happens in this film. <laughs> and yes. then oh god, the film about dinosaurs. In uh, modern you, day. I mean, you say that. <laughs> you say that, but Jurassic Park is a good film. Yeah, that's that's good shit. That's good you shit. You cannot question the first one. You want, again, you could say the same thing about like, oh, it's hard to suspend my disbelief about like a, a movie about dinosaurs. Right. But like, but like at least a little bit with the first one, you're like, okay. I mean, hypothetically, you know, in in Minecraft, <laughs> who's maybe, to say you who's couldn't? to say you could? Other than the laws of science, right? I right. don't care. You know, hey. I mean, we've let's get some frogs I and some have, ancient amber. I have some suspend. I have suspended my disbelief for <laughs> for some like sci-fi concepts and some wacky stuff far more than right. the potential of dinosaurs coming back. Avid Star Wars fan. I'm just saying. <laughs> Time dilation and whatnot. Anyways. Gunbuster. <laughs> Gun bu- <laughs> Gunbuster. Oh man. So, anyways, and and then, like I said, they end up making it kind of towards the end, mm-hmm. and uh, more. Insanity ensues, <laughs> right? And then, like in like a f- uh, in a final stretch, as like a big fu, mm-hmm. our our main man, Doctor Grant, has this um has this lady, mm-hmm. Ellie Statler, apparently right. is her character's name. Back the, the lady from the first movie. exactly, and uh, 
and she's got connections, which mm-hmm. I don't I don't disbelieve. Right. Um, and so in the in the in the the chaos of like the final climactic fight between the um between the spinosaur and all the all the band of goons, mm-hmm. or I shouldn't say that all of our our protagonists apparently <laughs> right. Incapable parents, the bumblers, the bumblers, and the <laughs> super child. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, oh, dude, let doesn't don't even get me started on how Billy stole Velociraptor eggs. I mean that isn't that isn't even that bad. What that, that isn't that that isn't even that bad. From like 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 the the thing is it feels like such a drop in the bucket of like <laughs> compared to everything else. Yes. Oh it feels God. like it feels like another one of those. You want to talk about like a potential a potentially good storyline that I feel like oh. does end up coming to a conclusion, but like uh, gosh, it just. <laughs> Like like oh it's oh god it's yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so hard right, right. because it's like oh, because it all is supposed to it was a tie in emotionally with Billy mm-hmm. and Doctor Grant right that like oh god it just infuriates me because again uh-huh. they he takes the eggs and it's like yes that's bad right he should you have do painted that. a target on you have us. painted a target on us and I understand you're doing that to like potentially raise money for it. I understand. Again, it's like gold bars, potentially. It's mm-hmm. like you don't want to just leave these gold and gems behind when right. it could be beneficial to it. I understand. The, the only uh, issue is they're cursed. I, exactly. I understand <laughs> the allure, and I don't blame you for taking them. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that's what inevitably leads us to that line where... Some of the worst things imaginable have been done with the best of intentions. Yes, and again, hard line. Right. Yeah. And not only that, the hardest line is whenever he's like, "You're just as bad as everyone else that started this." Mm-hmm. That is some hard shit. Yeah. And again, would have been really good because at that point, whenever the whenever um, what 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 we think is Billy trying to escape using the parachute, he actually uses the parachute to save the kid mm-hmm. Eric from being you know gobbled up by the baby pterodactyls or right. uh, pteranodons, whatever. Mm-hmm. So he ends up saving them. And in the, in the cost of that potentially, uh, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The cost is almost his own life. Right. He ends up getting, you know, ravaged by the, the pteranodons on the way down from the mm-hmm. river. And you're like, shit, he died. Right. And then again, another t- tiptoe in the right direction of like, Ooh, this is going to be a good story. It's going to like really flush out. Mm-hmm. Dr. Grant is in the boat. And, like, he's having this moment where, like, he regrets the fact that the last thing he said to his, like, companion, his, like, friend, was, like, you're just as bad as everyone else that mm-hmm. started this. And he's, like, but that's not the case. He's just ambitious. Right. And it's, like, Young. damn. It's, like, like, that's hard. And it's, like, oh, wow. That's, again, some heavy emotions. Mm-hmm. They end up, you know, reconciling the whole uh, uh, Velociraptor egg thing, yeah, and all that's all done, and everything's all fine. And so it's like, okay, so we got scare like the spino away with some fire, right? Exactly. So it's like at that point, we're like, we got a conclusion. We lost our guy, and it's sad. And it's like, mm-hmm. okay, but like you have to carry that weight of like you know your final words to a friend right. of yours. Load bearing eggs. But then they just like they they take it all back, and he's alive apparently, and they were able to catch him. So it's like, <laughs> right. okay, so that really yeah kind of ruined that banged up but whatever right so again like could it have been i think it could have been it could have been emphasized more i think it could have also been really interesting to kind of like put a further wedge and kind of like really dig into that before just like killing him off in the next scene after it was all done right so anyway like i said it was just was it was i felt like a missed opportunity but it wasn't i don't i wouldn't i wasn't super i was just so caught up in everything else (laughs) yeah but the point that i want to talk about here at the very ending Mm. And this is just, I mean, just a, a, probably a drop in the bucket for everyone else. But it meant something to me. Mm-hmm. Ellie was able to get, like, the whole freaking Navy out there. Oh, yeah. I mean. Two sh- whole aircraft carriers. Wrapped. Amphibious they, they, tanks. Bro, they make it Helicopters. Out. <laughs> and I love it as well. Like, they... <laughs> I don't know why they did this, but like they put a <laughs> oh yeah they put a man on a suit right man, just this random dude on the beach with a megaphone like a whole five hundred meters like left of all of them, mm-hmm. so they come running out and they're like <gasps> Every, as soon as they see him with the megaphone, oh, all their stomachs drop I'm like don't do like, that. Don't! <laughs> Anyways, and of course they just like and he's like he just like gestures to the left and right. there's like 
I'm your in, entourage, sir. Bruh. Storming <laughs> chariots away. Storming the beaches of Normandy. Fifty they, cows and all. Bruh, they like roll up three three infantry carriers deep. Right. Just unloading squads of guys. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh frick the the freaking navy's here. Oh yeah. They got black hawks circling overhead. Mm-hmm. And of course they like everyone gets them to safety and it's like, oh shit, okay. Nice, nice. nice. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Everyone gets inside the um gets inside the helicopter. Mm-hmm. And of course, that's when we meet. You know, the fact that our, our guy Billy's still alive. And you know, it's a whole touching moment, kind right, of, right. but not really. Kind of. Because then it's he's like, like, "I saved your hat." It's like, great. Well, again, and that's the funny, like that, again, <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. It's like, like, oh, gosh, <laughs> the fact that he saved the hat, like, is kind of a fun touch. Mm-hmm. That he's like that, like at that point, whenever like, <laughs> here you go, Andy. It, like, like, oh god. <laughs> the line delivery could have been a little bit better in that mm-hmm. regard. Where, like, because, again, the um, the emotional weight didn't feel like it was there. Mm-hmm. Whenever, like, obviously, like, he almost lost his life. And the joke is, I saved your hat. And, of course, like, like that's supposed to be, like, the, we, we're all saying, that's mm-hmm. the least of our concern. At least you're <laughs> actually alive. Right. But, like, the kind of... I don't know if it's just the actor or like that was the the creative decision they went to go with. But like Dr. Grant was like, yeah, because like that's that's important. <laughs> and it like it kind of feels like he's like brushing off the fact that like his friend is now alive. Right. And then he didn't just like regret the fact that he like said some shit before that. Mm-hmm. Like it just feels like he's like, oh, cool. Glad to see you, bud. And right. it's like, you full on <laughs> thought he was dead a moment ago. <sighs> I would have been like, I would have like the fact that he said like I like I saved your fat hat. I would have chuckled and like I like, had that kind of like <laughs> that kind of tearful response <laughs> yeah. of a little bit of like because right. that's important. He's like bitch, yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. A little bit, just a just a little something. Right. That's what made it feel so like everything just felt so throwaway. Mm-hmm. But anyways, to round out this, we get no closure <laughs> on. The Kirby family. All right. They're all back together. They're all back together in a way, but like nothing is explicitly said that like they're back together. Mm-hmm. They just keep looking at each other. <laughs> right. Specifically Amanda. She keeps like looking at them with like these like lustful eyes of like, <laughs> she just kind of keeps like, <laughs> she keeps like smiling, but just like giving them that like longing gaze. <laughs> and it's like, are, are you still, a, I, I can what understand. What the fuck is going on? Lady? I could understand you still being attracted to him, especially now that he like fought off a whole dinosaur to save you and your son. <laughs> right. Like I can understand the like, damn, maybe this guy really can like hold his own. Right. Like I, I get that aspect of it, but like nothing is like ever explicitly said about that where mm-hmm. it's like, she I had a husband think... and and he's dead now. And now right. You're giving I, I googly think, eyes to your ex-husband. It's like I don't know. I think it's okay that they don't say no, what no, happens. I, you're right. It's, because you're it'll right. Make her seem even worse. It, you're right. <laughs> she just turns right back around. But, le, but let me. But let me just say this. I. I. I you're right. The mm-hmm. fact that they didn't say something is probably better. Yeah. But the fact that they harped on it for the whole <laughs> goddamn movie, <laughs> it feels like. It feels almost again like a like a like an empty thread, mm-hmm. where it's like we didn't get any kind of like there was no answer. It, even at the very right. end, if she, if she's like, we're th- left to assume. You're right. We can draw that conclusion. You're right. It's fine. But I, but for me, I would have at least uh, at least just like the fact of like either one of them look at each other and say like I appreciate all your help and everything that you do, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna be a little bit nicer to you from now on. Right. But like and and, and just give a good friendly handshake. Yeah. At that I would have been. Way to go, partner. At that. At that <laughs> If you would have had just that, I would have been like, "Cool, I you can, okay." You can just tie up that knot and know that like the most you're gonna get is a friendly handshake and, a, right. and I got your back from now on. Mm-hmm. It's like it's all you need. <laughs> but no, we didn't even get that. We just got like a her like looking into his eyes, going. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is that? Right. What, this, Stop it! This feels weird. Get away from me! You're supposed to. Uh, you're divorced. Stop right. it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> and then and and then again, as if. Oh God! I know I've been I know I've been just laying into this, but that's okay. Right, this right, needs right. to be said. It's a, it's oh, the movie shit. where we can. I've been going for too long. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> let me just say this: we all know, at least on this podcast, and if you don't, you can look it up. Mm-hmm. Chekhov's gun, yeah. and it states that don't ever put a gun, don't ever put an instrument or some sort of gun in mm-hmm. a scene if you don't plan on 
firing it or utilizing it before the end of the film or play or movie or whatever. Mm -hmm. If you're going to start to show people something, you better have a if you're going to call, you better respond. Right. If you're going to show something, you better tell something. Mm -hmm. Like Kind of like how that, that plays off. If you're going to start waving a gun around before it's over, the gun needs to be important in some capacity to be like, ha-ha, it came, like the right. callback almost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> halfway through the film, whenever they were like exiting the 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 pterodactyl enclosure mm -hmm. or, or Trinidad enclosure, the whatever aviary. it is. The aviary. Amanda doesn't fully close the door back, oh, and so yeah. the latch... <laughs> kind of opens up and you're like shit this you is going to come and be stupid gonna eat us in the ass to have these freaking birds come back down and swoop up and, and you know potentially kill the rest of us right. they don't show up at all none of it shows up until the very end of the film mm -hmm. and this is the part that that I think respectfully <sighs> maybe more frustrated than uh -huh. anything else in the film <laughs> Right. The fact that as the as the two navy helicopters mm -hmm. are flying off to go over to like the naval carriers. Right. They look out and the sun's like the sun has another spider sense where he's like <laughs> what is that? And he looks out the window and there's and three, three of them are flying out just open air. Just open air. And three. I mean the first reaction I have is shoot them. Shoot them out. <laughs> Shoot them down. <laughs> they can't get out. Shoot they them. cannot leave. We cannot have any stragglers. That's the first thing. And of course, the song. It starts like starts swelling, and, uh, and they're Eric all. It's all like, like, where do you think they're going? Oh, and I'm God. like, uh, nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and that's and I'm telling you, that was like I've never had the. I've never had the the deep seated drill sergeant come at me where I was like, I want those things shot out of the air. Yes, <laughs> right. I need pictures of pterodactyls. <laughs> no, no, no. I need you guys. <laughs> yeah, I need eyes on those beasts, and I need them out. <laughs> oh, that's good. <sighs> Man, the cannon, Wilson. Let's go. <laughs> right, take like, them out. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sitting here like, okay, we should have had. You know, I wonder right. where they're gonna go and just. <laughs> like, I hate to tell you, kid, uh, in the ocean. That's, that's all, the only place right now. We can't have these things flying freely throughout yep. the sky. Too dangerous. And not only that, we have two of these military-grade helicopters with these, like, dinosaurs flying next to them as if it's supposed to be majestic. And I'm like, who's to say that we haven't just had an hour and a half worth of, of fighting with, like, with a spinosaur? Mm -hmm. Velociraptor. Velociraptor. A T-Rex. To a certain degree, you're like, why are they... Why... <sighs> I could be wrong. I don't know the, the, the how the, the, oh God, what do you call it? The instinctual um, subconscious of a, of, a, of a predatory animal like that. Mm -hmm. At a certain point, like why, why is this big beast even caring about us anymore? It's not like it's hungry. I mean, maybe, maybe it is hungry, but right. at a certain point, it's like it's really going through a whole lot of shit to just like attack us mm -hmm. where it kind of feels like it's like a movie thing now where it's like this right. isn't like a, a survival thing. This isn't whatever. Like it just feels like it's just th the antagonist, quote unquote, that's right. trying to attack us, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, and now all of a sudden, for so all like, intents and purposes, yeah. that, that's it, it, just what it you're is. You're right, and that's okay. And I can sometimes can suspend my disbelief that right, much. Right, right. But at a certain point, they had those. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> witnessed two of those pteranodons. I mean, just like, like I mean, like packing like, the shit like out of Billy. Savage uh, harpies, right. just like, <laughs> like, 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 like <laughs> looking like, like they were just like tearing up uh -huh. Billy. Yeah. And to be honest, Billy doesn't look that bad as for right. what, how much got, blood was in the water. <laughs> yeah. He's just got a few bruises. So we have, like, that's the precedence of, like, these things being, like, terrifying little creatures. Now they're oh, yeah. just like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it's like flying right. beside the helicopter, like, everything's all fine. Right. It's like, no. No. Nah. We have, we have a victim number one is sitting in the back seat. Yeah. I, I don't know, I, he, I don't know why he's not having PTSD now. <laughs> right. Why is he not freaking First out? First witness to the kill order. Exactly. Mm hmm. I don't know why he didn't say, shoot him out of the sky. Right. Don't let those fuckers get away. Light him up, Henry. You see what they did to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they took my hand. <laughs> <laughs> but no. It, it, and that's what I'm saying. And, and, of, and of course, we get to see the, we don't even get to see our heroes land on the aircraft carrier safely. No, but instead, we get to see three of those pterodactyls just, just fly flying off, off the and it fades into black. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, <sighs> yep. So that was Jurassic Park. Yeah, that was fun. 
Um, fucking love that movie. <laughs> it, it was it was wild uh-huh. and it was fun to watch and I and I and I do appreciate the fact that we watched something that got me this riled up. <laughs> it's been a minute. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's been a minute and I don't think it was an awful film. I just think it had its flaws and the more mm-hmm. I sat there and was watching it the more I was like I think I could just tweak this a little bit and I would have more fun <laughs> with it. But anyways, that's that's, oh, that's neither here nor there. Um what I will say though is, uh, let me look up. What you is our, can find us on YouTube. Yes, you can. <laughs> Insight Studio. <laughs> exactly. Oh man. Really quickly, <sighs> I was going to start looking at um, the not so fun facts. No, 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 no. We're we're f- too we're so oh, yeah, far too far gone. <laughs> we're so far gone. <laughs> um, but what I w- what I did want to say was is that we do have um, we have a we have all of these podcast episodes mm-hmm. that have been pushed out on all the social media or on all the podcasting platforms yeah. since the, since the dawn of the first episode of this show. But over the course of the past, probably working on four or five months now at this point, mm-hmm. I've been able to integrate them all into YouTube. Right. And it's been really cool to see the audience grow in a way uh, on YouTube. It's so and weird. It's You've been the only uh, witness to this, by the way. I I can't bring myself to look. Well, I, well, I, <laughs> oh, as far as the numbers, I'm the only only witness. But when, but the commenter that I'm about oh, to yeah. talk about, right, you have right. seen him, <laughs> him or her. I don't know who they are. Right. I'm not. I'm not gonna what have you. I'm not who? What have you? <laughs> whatever you uh, identify as. <laughs> whatever you are. Yeah. <laughs> I. Uh, um. Uh, anyways, so I, the fact that we have them on YouTube now, mm-hmm. um, you can leave a like, you can subscribe, you can of course like comment on, on each yards. of the each of the individual episodes, and of course I get the chance to to see that, which I think is really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, if you go into the search bar and type in at Hindsight Studios, um, you can see that uh, the About Nothing podcast is on there, Aftermath is on there, mm-hmm. and it's got all the episodes. And of course, like I said, if you want to, there's a specific one. Give it a like, give a little comment, and say your like your little favorite part right, or whatever. Right. And specifically, there's this uh, there's this person uh, named Toasty. 006 and uh damn we, we're just gonna call him out like yeah, that. Well, I'm, I, I am i appreciate i appreciate the fact that uh they've been talking right. and like of course and i've also kind of and i've i have uh interjected for those who don't know i i run the channel so mm-hmm. obviously dylan doesn't doesn't i, I just i show him the comment I'm like hey, right. here you go check that out <laughs> and of course and so i'll i'll engage a little bit right. but anyways uh in a previous episode we talked about grand blue and they said that they might actually try out uh, Grand Blue after this, mm-hmm. and so I kind of had a little fun with that. But recently on an episode, uh, they uh, they said, "Hopefully, you guys get around to the Warriors." After I heard that, man, I was yeah. really tempted to just go ahead and pop that sucker. I know, so because we have it. he has it, yeah. And I'm actually kind of interested because I looked at the box art for it again, mm-hmm. and I remember you showed it to me, yeah. but I've never seen it before. So this is prime aftermath material where I have no idea what this movie is <laughs> uh-huh. and I think it's an old action movie if I'm not mistaken oh, yes. which I'm like oh this is going to be fun it's perfect so for any of those out there who are looking forward to that or also toasty as well just know that, like I'm <laughs> we see you we see you and we're going to probably do that hopefully pretty soon I'm we really got sorry our about eyes that. on you um, but anyways to continue they say uh, good episode and thanks for unlocking a core memory of me raging at uh, Valkyria Chronicles <laughs> did we talk uh, about that in that episode we did yeah okay okay I mentioned it um, I guess I'm we just on the topic of games yeah and it had come up at some point but god I was just talking about how I needed to get back into it because okay. of how much fun it was okay and this is like the original one I'm talking about right, like, right, right. me and Chase of all people, yeah, played four, and Chase Uh-oh. was doing okay for a while. Okay, he had never played Valkyria before. This was his first little foray into the series. Yeah, so he didn't know how like the skills and like commands worked. Oh gosh! So we, Uh-oh. <laughs> we come up to a boss, and everybody dies. No, left and right, oh, people no. are dying, and there's it's permadeath. Really? If okay. If you lose a squad member, they're gone. Is this that one? Oh, I remember this is like the, the tank one we're talking about? Yes, yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm on board now. I do so, remember us talking about this. Yes. Yeah. And I'm like, man, it'd be great if we didn't lose anybody on your yeah. first playthrough. Ooh, uh, and as soon as you one goes You jinxed them down, hard then. I'm serious, dude. As soon as uh, somebody walked up to our buddy who was on the ground dying and it plays his death cut scene, e- I'm like, okay, um, well, you're going to... You're gonna restart, and he keeps going. Get out! <laughs> Everybody keeps dying, and I'm like, Chase, <sighs> stop! What are you doing? <laughs> Please, for all that is good in this world. So yeah, I uh, I stopped him. 
Okay. We haven't gone back to it since. Damn. I'm going to finish the first one, and then I'm going to pitch a little a little uh, run around in that again, see what he says. Yeah. I, I hope to God he doesn't <laughs> make the same no, mistakes. But, uh, well, here's hoping. <gasps> you guys are going through Final Fantasy X right now, right? Yes. That's fun. It's That's so hilarious. hilarious. That's scary. Not only is it one of the funniest yeah. to me, for obvious reasons. Of course, yeah. Uh, it's also just one of my favorites in the series, just because of how like solid it is. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, a I'm, fun game. Yeah. Um, There's a reason why I think it was like it was like the top of its game mm-hmm. for like the <laughs> PS2. Oh yeah. I, I know, obviously, because it was it was wacky, but like right, for right, the right. PlayStation Two, like I mean, you can get that game anywhere. It oh, was yeah. it was like the for me, it was the most popular Final Fantasy game mm-hmm. that I had. Until I will still never fathom how your first. Final Fantasy was ten two. Ten two. Yeah. That is I had a I had a ridiculous <laughs> to me. Um so my my mom, as you, we all probably probably know, my mom mm-hmm. ran a homeschool. Right. And uh so one of the other homeschool kids that uh, that we used to come over to the house after mm-hmm. we were all done with school stuff, he had uh Ten two, I think he had rented it or whatever, yeah. and I, I think that he thought that it meant like twelve or something. Like it's, but because but <laughs> That's we didn't a fair assumption. So we 10 thought plus two, it, right, right. <laughs> so I think we had like an understanding, like we didn't understand what it meant or whatever, right. and so we played it, and I think we, I don't remember. I mean, I don't remember a lot about the game, but I played mm-hmm. a little bit of it, and I was like, this seems kind of cool. Yeah. And then shortly after that, I realized that like, oh, it's ten, and then ten the sequel, right. And I was like, ah, that makes sense. As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't exist. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, don't, we don't gotta go there. But um, so, anyways, <sighs> ten, uh, both of them, ten and ten two, mostly mm-hmm. are like the ones that uh, those are like the first. Those are the first Final Fantasy games I remember because mm-hmm. shortly after that, I found out about Kingdom Hearts, and then oh, found out yeah. about all the characters all the from seven. Characters. All the tie, a lot of them from the original Kingdom Hearts are from seven. Mm-hmm. And then so seven, seven, six, ten. There's right, a right. Oh, shit ton of them. There's a whole lot of them, but for mm-hmm. the most part, like the main, you know, uh, uh, Cloud, Tifa, Yuffie, Leon, like those are all right. like those like seven characters, like the kind of the big ones that kind of tie in. Mm-hmm. Well, Leon um, was from eight. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah. so regardless, um, I uh, <laughs> <laughs> somebody uh, pop in that nerd emoji for me. Well, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually. Um, actually. <laughs> Uh, Again, shows you how much I know. Right. So, uh, so that's when I, so I, I, I heard about, uh, I, I knew about ten, mm-hmm. found out about seven mostly, and apparently now eight. But I didn't. I just right. thought it was all. I thought they were all from seven. A little bit of eight, exactly. And then the only other Final Fantasy that I ever knew anything else about was the series that came out with uh, Lightning. Thirteen. Thirteen. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, I really haven't heard anything else about any of them until the online game that came out, which I think it's like, what, 15 or 16 or whatever? 14. I 14? I believe so. Oh, you're right. I heard a little bit about that. And mm-hmm. then... Uh, 16. 16, definitely. Great A, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I only heard very briefly about, I think, 15, which is the the boy band one. <laughs> I love that yeah. that's everybody's go-to yeah, yeah. descriptor for that game. Because like, it, that's what it is. Because it is, yeah. You play as a boy band. Right. <laughs> I know nothing else about me. it. That's all I know about. It. Oh my god! Um, but yeah, so this episode has been going on far too long. Oh yeah, but as That's I how had you know, said, it's good. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but a as mark I, of quality. As I had said before, you can type in the uh, the aftermath on all the major podcasting platforms and find us that way, or you can go to YouTube specifically and type in at Hindsight Studios. And should be able to find all of our stuff there. I think we should also be because everything now with Google Podcasts has integrated over YouTube Music and all that should have right. it all on there. But YouTube should just have all of our stuff there. Mm-hmm. So if you want to, the entire want, repertoire, give us a like, subscribe. I mean, I, it's, re- so it's been it's been really cool to to see all you guys um, interacting and liking and all that kind of stuff on the videos. You know who you are. Fun. Yeah, exactly. I appreciate <laughs> it at the very least. So, anyways, until next week. Thank you so much for listening. See you. Bye-bye.